Deshaun, tough, but sweet. Hey you guys, I am Deshaun and today's weather is going to be cloudy. Right now it is 82 degrees, but the high today is going to be, let me tell y'all, let me tell you, come on. 97 y'all that is hot even though it's a cloudy day it's gonna be 97 degrees y'all that i'm not ready y'all know i'm glad it's gonna be cloudy but that 97 baby <laughs> baby <laughs> but how is the weather where you guys are so this is the cake that Allison made for her little sister third birthday nice chocolate cake. So you ready? Let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Blow it. You gotta make a wish. Make a wish and blow out your candle. You made your wish. Now blow, blow. it. Blow it. Blow your candles out. Blow it before a fire start. Get blow. You gotta get closer and blow it. Blow. Blow the candle for a fire start. I see the fire start. Chi Chi, you gotta get closer to it. Blow. Blow. Get closer. Closer. It's blowing. Blow it. Blow hard. Hard. <laughs> Allison, help your sister. Hoof and woof. Blow the candles out. What the cake tastes like? Tastes like eel. Tastes like eel? Tastes like chocolate. Tastes like chocolate? Mm -hmm. It tastes like chocolate. Chee Chee, you don't like it? I, I like it a little bit. She don't like that. You like it yellow a little part. bit? You don't like the yellow part? She doesn't like the That's the best part, girl. You guys, I got something to tell y'all. When my friends tell me that they love me, just randomly out of nowhere tell me that they love me, y'all, it it makes my heart just, I just, I don't know, it made me feel so special because it, I don't know, like, because you know your friends love you, but when they tell you and actually say it to you, you guys, that, that just, man, that, whew, it just made me feel so special. <laughs> but I love my friends, too. But it's just something about when, out of nowhere, y'all, just out of nowhere, they tell you that they love you. Oh man, they just oh man, they make me feel so good. I just wanted to share that. Because it it just you you know you know your friends love you. But when they say it, when they tell you it to your face, y'all. I can't explain the feeling like I want to cry, but I'm not going to cry. But it's just a really, really, really good feeling. You know, because they, they don't have to love you. They don't, they're not forced to love you. They, you know what I'm saying? It's just a natural thing. It's a natural feeling that they have for you. And they, they're just, whoo. And it, you know, and it, I, ooh, yeah, I can't even talk right now. Okay, you guys, got something to tell you. The um church members, I saw the church member. 
You always want a honey bun. <laughs> I saw the church members. I want a honey bun. Okay, you guys. The church people came over yesterday and we talked. And they told me that they wanted me to be over the kids because they noticed that every time they see me, I'm outside and it's a bunch of kids around me. I was like, yes, because they want to play with the different things that we, you know, we take the chalk and the bubbles and all that kind of stuff. And they was like, yes. And they was like, but they was like, we want you to be in charge of the kids at church. I was like, I don't understand it. They was like, we notice how many kids be around you when you're outside. They say, we want you to ask the kids to come to church. I was like, yeah, I can do that, but it's up to their parents. And they was like, well, if you ask the kids and they say they do want to come, then we will go and ask the parents. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So now that's what I have to do. Well, I don't have to, but they asked me to do is when I'm outside playing with the neighborhood kids to ask them, do they want to come to church? And if they say yes, then they will go and talk to the parents about them coming to church because we do have a church bus or whatever so uh i'm excited because most of the kids that be outside with us they already go to the church anyways but a few of them you know they don't so i'll ask them like the the younger kids the ones that's like a uh, chunky age and below, you know, they, they go to the church already. But the older kids, there are some that are older that are like mm, about 12, 13. They be outside with us too, but they don't go to the church. So I, I don't know how I would. I mean, I guess I just ask them like, Hey, do you want to go to church? You know, just. I don't know because the thing is the kids they feel real comfortable talking to me so it's always been like that my whole life like kids they they don't they be scared to talk to other kids because they don't want to get made fun of and they be scared to tell their parents because they don't want to get in trouble so they'll come talk to me so yeah <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how things go and everything. Say cheese, cheese. Ooh, girl. Mm -mm. Ooh, girl. You gotta brush your teeth better. You gotta do a better job of brushing them teeth, girl. Them teeth. Ooh, wee. So, Chichi want me to show y'all what, um, what she did. You gotta, Chichi, you gotta explain it to him because I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. explain what it is. You gotta tell them what it is, cause I don't know. It is a park mic. It's a a what? A park mic. Apartment. Mhm. Mm uh huh. And uh. 
What what color is that? Purple. Purple. Ah, ow, you on my finger. It, you That's gotta, purple. Okay, you gotta be still. You, you keep moving. I can't see it. It's purple. It's purple. And this is just purple. Okay, so you drew a uh, um apartment. That's cute. That's cute. You still eating potty candy? Yeah. It, Gigi, don't. It. <laughs> okay, Gigi. Thank you. Thanks for watching.